Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Casual Comic Collector. Today I've got the Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man Omnibus. Um, just going to do a short video. Um, it's a sealed copy, so I'm going to do an unwrapping, um, followed by a short overview, and uh, flip through some of the pages to see what the book looks like on the inside. Um, right, so let's get it opened up. So this is the front cover of the dust jacket. It's the uh, spine. That's what it looks like on the back. So you get a sense of what's included. Uh, not going to read all that out, but you can pause the video if you want to get a closer look. And it has a cover price of $125. Right, so let's look, see what it looks like underneath. So that's the uh, cover, it's a bit of a wraparound. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Right, so. So before we uh, flip through the book, let's have a quick look at the binding to show you what that actually looks like. Um, I've read that some people have been complaining about the binding on this on this book, and as you can see, it's starting to um, come off a bit. Uh, I guess as far as Marvel omnibuses go, it doesn't flex or it doesn't arch as much as the other ones, and as you can see, the binding is actually coming coming apart a little bit there, um, which isn't great, but I suppose if you read the book carefully and look after it, it shouldn't make too much difference. Um, it doesn't have any gutter loss like with the um, with the other Marvel omnibuses, but the fact that it doesn't um, doesn't flex as much is a bit disappointing. So this is a run I didn't read actually uh, when it was out. Um, it's written by Brian Michael Bendis. Um, who is a bit hit and miss, but generally he'll write pretty good stuff. Um, so like I said, this is not something I read at the time, but um, I did watch the recent Spider-Man uh, Into the Spider-Verse movie. Um, so I guess like everyone else, I'm a bit interested now. Um, so I think it'd be great to read this um, with that in mind and get um, a good introduction to the, uh, to the character of Miles Morales. Um, I mean, he's... I mean, from the movie, you know, it seemed like an intriguing, intriguing and interesting character. So, yeah, be great to see what um, what was actually done with him in the comic. Um, I'm not too sure if what happened in the movie is actually taken from this, or if it was an independent, independently thought up story. I mean, obviously, some of the characters um, are included, but I don't know how much was taken from uh, from this run. I mean, the art looks pretty good. Got a bit of Captain America. I mean, I think from what I read, this was a pretty good run. Um, and a pretty cool character, all in all. And as always, as I'm flipping through these, apologies if there are any spoilers, but um, I'm trying to do a couple pages at a time so there isn't, not giving too much away. Some venom. I always love a bit of venom. Uh, 
I have to say, I, I mean, I do like the look of the suit as well. Um, I always like the traditional red suit, Spider-Man, but this is also distinctive in its own way. I think there you get to the end of the actual story and then here you've got some of the extras at the end mm, not too much at the end in terms of extras but I suppose it'll be the standard variant covers with maybe a bit of concept art sketch work that sort of thing the cover for the actual omnibus. Some more variant covers. Some more sketch work. Oh, and a nice mini cover gallery. Well, and a letters page at the end, which was always a nice touch. So that that's pretty much that for that book. Um, really excited about this. Um, can't wait to start reading it. Um, looks really good. Um, and I'm hoping the story um, will match the expectations. I think I've heard it's a good one. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please like this video if, uh, if you did indeed like it. Um, and subscribe to the channel for more omnibus and comic content. Thanks.